I'm on my way out to a location where I was about a fortnight ago and was successful in getting two red deer. Um, <clears throat> I also saw a decent size stag. Um, can't seem to get him off my mind and um, yeah, gonna go out, see if I can try and locate him and um, hopefully have a crack. If not, locate and check out the zone and you know, come back again. Uh, so either way, uh, I'm gonna have a bit of fun. Uh, it's, um, it's, it's it's funny weather at the moment. It's the middle of summer yet I'm all rugged up. It's only about 16 degrees outside. Um, bit windy, uh, showers of rain. So the weather's a bit uh, crazy at the moment. And I know that that can um, make the animals behave differently as well but if all goes well I'll be able to locate some tracks and um, weather depending I might set myself up to sit and wait for dusk and uh, you know hope something comes about so I'll keep you posted. So I've got to my destination and it's uh, warmed up throughout the day and so now I'm just um, biding time. So I'm fully loaded, ready to go. Got the rifle on the slingshot. Slingshot. <laughs> I've got the, um, the, the sling holder on and uh, I'm gonna make my way down to the spot where I've seen a, a fair sized stag as I've mentioned and um, I can see some movement down there on the edge of the uh, the reeds. Like I say, this is a big swampy area with a little creek running through it. Perfect habitat and um, like the vegetation is uh, quite dense, but uh, whether it's a deer this early or not, I'm not sure. It could be kangabangas. Um, yeah, but I'm going to try and get down to, there's a tree, um, uh, oh, probably not going to be able to show you where I'm going to walk to, but um, yeah, I'm going to get down to where there's a tree. Actually, I'll turn around and you might be able to see a tree behind me, a dead tree in the distance. Uh, I can't zoom in on it, but there's, like I say, something's there already. And uh, I'm going to stalk my way down and try and get some um, glassing going on and see who's there making all that uh yeah making all that activity which is visible to my eye but can't pick it up in this camera i'm here on a solo hunt so i'll do my best to try and capture it for you right i'll get moving well as i'm trying to navigate my way across you can see the size of about a size eight you can see some of these footprints are bloody huge like look at that <laughs> that's that's how i know there's someone living in the zone like i say he's a fair size stag I'll keep glassing for a bit longer and um, like I say plenty of kangaroos coming out so fingers crossed some red deer will come out soon and hopefully that stag I've been on to.
like young and old, but they'll send out the young ones first and it sort of seems to be like, you know, a, a wiser thing that the older stags do. I'm very excited. Um, yeah, stay tuned because um, if the bigger, bigger one comes out, I'm going to have Well, it's getting more and more later. I can hear movement in the reeds there. I'm pretty well hidden in a spot here. Same spot. Um, there's more roos out. That spiker boy is still pretty much in the same spot as he was before. But I reckon, I reckon there's going to be some more shortly. It's really hard to capture it but I'll try my best. Not sure if you can see that but there's a couple of foxes running through the paddock. They're a pest in this country as well. I can't believe how many foxes I've seen lately.
just got done too quick, so it could still be around me here somewhere, but... Well, I have to say I'm um, pretty disappointed with that. There was definitely a um, large animal in there. Uh, I reckon he might have got a bit of a scent. Um, I've seen up to about oh, seven or eight foxes um, during my time in that zone. And um, it's now about 10.30. I finally got back to the spot where I'm going to sleep the night. And I'm going to take this hunt up again in the morning. I've made it to my location where I was yesterday. Lots of um, animal noises. I've made a fair bit of noise getting in here, so hopefully not too much. <sighs> the sun's slowly coming up. Not sure what sunrise is, but... I've had a power nap and decided to try and get in amongst the reeds and stuff here but it's just ridiculous it's it's true swamp area and oh that was close nearly dropped my phone in the water um yeah like I say I'm gonna get out of here because it's um, just too wet and too noisy and impossible to glass in because it's just um, so thick. As you can see behind me, it's ridiculous. And then all the reeds, they're up way up over my head. Um, I'm gonna think of another approach. Hmm. Oh, I know one thing for sure. I ain't ever going hunting for red deer in swamplands again. That's um, an absolute nightmare in there. Uh, yeah, never again. I'm gonna take up my position as I did yesterday afternoon on dusk and the next red deer that comes out, I'm gonna ping it, that's for sure. I'm so happy. This is my first red stag. Yay. It's been a lot of effort. Like, I nearly gave up, but um, I knew he was here and uh, finally got him. I've had to come back in the, um, in the dark, but uh, cause yeah, just daylight disappeared in a heartbeat. And I, I, I can't believe it. I heard all this splashing and hey, <laughs> I got him. Whoa, the tips are hard. So these, these antlers, even though they're my first set, oh man, I heard him last night, I reckon. I'm so happy I held my ground and came back to this very spot. Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you, universe. Woohoo!